Hello, this is Linda Babuluk. I'm a personal business strategist and the author of an international number one bestseller on Amazon, right behind me, called Zest Your Life, A Taste of Inner Wisdom. I'm very proud to say it was endorsed by Dr. Joe Vitale of The Secret, Ho'oponopono, it's in there. So today, it's the fifth of a series that I've been doing about the five aspects. The first one we talked about was the emotional aspect. The next one we talked about was the physical aspect. Then we talked about the mental aspect. Last time we talked about the spiritual aspect. This time, so if you picture it on a wheel or on a circle or a compass is even better. So you've got your four directions. In the south is the emotional and in the west would be your um, physical. In the north will be the mental. Makes sense, eh? The north, your head, it's at the top. And then on your right is the, um, the east and that's a spiritual, which also makes sense if you think about it. But the catalyst energy, the catalyst aspect that I want to talk about today is right smack in the middle. It's the center. And why that's important is if you think of it as a hub and a wheel. You know the old wagon wheels? They're the best. So because without that, the wheel can't turn. Nothing's happening. You take out the center, you take out that core, and nothing's going on. So think of it this way. Think of it as, well, like everything is energy. Think of that center as the engine that runs everything else. It's that passion. You could even say it's sexual energy because it has that kind of a drive, that kind of thing that motivates you. That not, well, it could be sex as in ooh la la, having physical sex, but we know that even having physical sex isn't just physical. It's also emotional and mental and it can be spiritual. So just think of that driving energy. It's that energy that gets up to get you going, that motivates you and that drives all the other directions. So just think how great your emotions feel when it's linked to everything else. So when you're driven emotionally, you're happy you're centered, you're cheerful, you know where you're going. You just want to really get there and you really want to make a difference because those are the emotions and the feelings that you have in your heart because you pulled it out of your mental, out of your head into emotional. So if you notice, the mental is up here, the emotional is down here, they're right across from each other. So they work together. Uh-huh. It's the way it goes. What you think about creates your emotional and you may muster up a feeling and you're going, I wonder where that feeling came from. And then you get the emotional. Let me tell you a little story about that. One morning I got up and I was bombed out, which doesn't happen to me or very seldom. I can't even remember when. And I called my big sister and I said, I don't know what's the matter with me. I'm so bummed out today. And she said, oh, honey, did you have a bad dream? Right on. When I realized that I'd had a bad dream, I couldn't remember the dream, but I was left with the feeling. So I had the emotion of that bad feeling, even though I didn't quite know what had gone on mentally. I couldn't see the picture. So you could see how that could have affected my catalyst energy, my energy in the center that drove everything else. That could have affected my physical, that I wouldn't have wanted to get anything done that day. I would have just, I don't know if I would have even crawled back into bed for fear that I would have another bad dream, not even knowing what that dream was. And spiritually, maybe that would be bringing me down. So we want to be aware of all five aspects, the emotional, the physical, the mental, the spiritual. Yeah, I always point to them. It's just the way I remember them. 
and the catalyst energy. You know, it's like the secret that keeps the, um, the cream in the Cadbury cream bar. Remember that? So we want to, it's what keeps us going. It's that, I know what it is. It's that juicy part in the middle of the orange. You know, you get, you open it up and it's, it's right there. It's in the middle. It's, it's exciting when you peel open an orange and you get right into those juicy segments. Think of it that way. Add the round, juicy orange, and we have the emotional segment, the physical segment, the mental, the spiritual, and then we just squeeze it all, and we have so much joy and zest and love and life in our hearts. And that's what I wish for you. Stay tuned. There's a lot more depth to these teachings. Now, I do want to let you know that I've been thinking about the month of January as a theme. The theme is retreat. And I'm hosting a retreat on Saturday, Jan 26th. It's called You Are the Zest. It's a retreat for women. And if you purchase your ticket, I've only got a few spots left. If you purchase your ticket right now, for the next 24 hours, yep, you have 24 hours to purchase your ticket. And besides, I'm closing the sales down tomorrow because we need to get the menus and the food organized. You're going to get a special bonus, a very special bonus. You get to have a call with me for a whole hour. We'll chat about what satisfies you in your life, what frustrates you, or if you've got any questions right off the top and you're going, I'm trying to figure this out in any of the five aspects or something we talked about that you don't understand, I'm more than happy to go into that. You get a whole full hour of Zesty Linda coming at you. So that's my bonus. Purchase your ticket for the retreat, women only. It's in Ottawa in the next 24 hours. And that applies to having the retreat for the whole day. Here's what you get. Starting at, we'll come in about 8.30, we'll have some coffee, and we start at 9, we'll go right through till 6 p.m., then we'll have a lovely dinner, a nice evening, you get to overnight. I've rented a 6,000 square foot mansion, it's gorgeous. And we'll just have a lovely evening, we'll have a nice, deep, comfortable sleep, and the next morning, We'll have a beautiful morning chat and then a breakfast and you'll be off. And I hope that's going to set up your 2019 like you have never, ever believed possible. It's awesome. I look forward to seeing you there. So click on the link. I think it's in, it's in here anyway. Okay. Thanks. Bye.